Now we will revisit employee2.java and we would now la like to take help from uh, wrapper classes. Wrapper classes are those special classes in Java that allow us to convert data from string to the primitive types. And then we have a string to um, string to string function uh, or method that allows data to be converted back into the string format. The string being one of the most vital classes in Java uh, requires uh, that, I mean like a lot of the time we do need um, help from the string class so that is why we would like to convert data back and forth from or to string so thanks to the Java programmers who have given us wrapper classes that allows us to da convert data from a non-object which is a primitive type to an object type and let's utilize that concept from Java here so instead of hard coding these values we would rather like to take an input from the user so for that purpose I will create a, an object called name of string type and I'll use the J option pane class which is one of the Java's built-in classes and it has a built-in method called show input dialog and since this input dialog is not associated with any window I'm gonna set the first parameter to null as far as the second parameter is concerned I would like to write a message here like enter your full name and for the next one I would like to do this that I would like to create a double variable called um, commission and I will use the exact same syntax here and instead of using enter your full name I'll rather say enter your um, commission but you will gonna realize now that Java as soon as I save it uh, we're going to give me an error message or even right after I was through uh, and you can easily tell in Eclipse that as you bring your mouse over an error message it tells you a brief message that uh, cannot convert from string to double because the input through the show input dialog box is always of the type double so now when I bring my mouse over this red line it gives me a little suggestion with the same exact error and say well you can change the type of commission to string but I can't do that because my commission parameter has to pass as a double so now I'm going to take help from the Java wrapper class and we have a Java wrapper class called double and the double class has a built-in function called parse double which can take a string and convert it into an equal and um, double value just like we have integer.parse end that can take a string and convert to an end and one more feature of Java is um, you can easily hit enter as long as you're not breaking a double quotes into two lines um, so I can just br break that one statement into two lines unlike vb.net which basically considers an enter key as a start of a new instruction that's why the vb.net programmers always use a space and a, an underscore as a line continuation character Java programmers don't have to do that because Java always looks for the semicolon symbol to mark the end of the instruction so here you can see that we were able to accept a input uh, of name from the user and we are now accepting a commission from user which is a double value and now we are converting into a double type secondly uh, instead of Anthony I would like to write, rather use name here and as soon as I do that the orange underline from under name has been taken away because the system realizes that I am in the process of using it so it's not a variable that is only being de declared and not being used and similarly you can see the line underneath commission has also gone away now, as I execute this program it's going to display me the defaults uh, for each one of the objects and then it gives me a little dialog box that asking me enter your full name so if I enter once again um, let's say Abby um, Johnson okay, uh, and click OK it gives me another dialog box asking for a commission and as I enter a commission of let's say five hundred and sixty dollars and twenty two cents and click OK now you can see these values being reflected in the output as you can see the values that were no name and ten dollars seventy seven cents got changed to the preset hard-coded values of Abby and 678 but on the other hand not yet set and negative one uh, were changed to Abby Johnson and five hundred and sixty dollars and twenty two cents which were the values that we accepted from user so that's how you can um, actually use um, 
input dialog boxes to accept values from user and use them to, uh, to set the values for the object. Thank you for watching this video.